I used to joke about this before. I used to be like, bro, imagine in a few years right now, people are so sensitive. Dude, I bet you before you know it, we're going to need trigger warnings for everything. Well, it's 2022, and it really be like that now. So, yeah, so woke Gen Z new hires are bringing their politics to the goddamn workplace. Kids from 2022 graduation are actually going to actual work. And people are saying that they're being a pain in the effing ass because graduates could emerge as a potential HR disaster for corporate America. Oh, yeah. Corporate America. For corporate America. The thing is, Gen Z's, they super emotional. They spoiled little brats. They get everything so easy. And then you have somebody like a millennial that sees that and they're like, what are they complaining about? They got everything handed in a golden spoon. But I, I digress. For a Gen Z, they think, oh, no, this is horrible. We are so oppressed. And it's like, bro. <laughs> You're really not, bro. You just haven't left the fucking U.S. Like, bro, you you good. You are really good regardless of your problems. Your problems ain't shit compared to other people around the world. So a survey of 15,000 members of Gen Z reveal how American youngest workers are to bring activism into the office. So, yeah, you have to remember a lot of these kids. Have you been to a high school lately? Like entrepreneurs or anybody that's famous, they don't want to do speeches on kids' schools anymore because they're so goddamn sensitive. You can't say anything. They get triggered. Everything's a problem. If there's a problem, we're going to protest. We're going to scream to the top of our lungs because we are unhappy. It's like a goddamn toddler. They're simply repeating what they were taught on a campus in recent years. College kids have made countless headlines for their often liberal and immature activist tactics. So yeah, just like I said, we see this online all the time. Oh, recent one, the Walmart. You guys seen that Walmart one where the girl, the lady just cuts in line because I want to cut in line. She gets called out for cutting the line. And she just screams randomly. Ah! And screams out, I'm getting graped. And it's like, no, you're not. <laughs> what? Ah! I am so stressed out. Ah! And it's like, dude, this, this is like the equivalent to like, my son that doesn't even do that. He's four years old. Like, the last time he did that was maybe when he was three. So it's like, this is a grown ass person. This is a new generation. Bro! <laughs> you know, the schools, you see these YouTube videos. God forbid you talk about politics with young, with, with Gen Z's. Oh my God, everything's triggering. You have to agree with everything you say. If you don't, you are worse than Hitler. You're worse than the worst of the world. Gen Z's has, have rolled into the office place with demands. Bosses report employees asking for time off for period cramps and anxiety. Bro, <laughs> the pressure their employees to take a stand on continuous social issues like BLM, Black Lives Matter, to be a manager in today's day. Fuck that. Oh my God. If someone comes up to me and tells me I have anxiety, I can't work today. Well, I'd say... Well, good riddance. Get the F out. <laughs> but you can't do that. Because you know what they're going to do? They're going to pop their phone or they're going to go on their YouTube channel like here and be like, I was discriminated today. It's not fair because I was having a bad day and this person triggered me. And it's like, oh, my gosh. And then it's the ongoing circle. And to pressure their employees for continuous social issues like Black Lives Matter. It's a thing now. It's like, we have something to bitch about, and you have to agree with it. If you don't, guess what? There's a black in it. You are racist if you don't agree with me. And it's like, oh, my gosh, this is honest truth. Half of the people there, bro, we just trying to work and get our shit done so we can go home and do our own goals. That's what it really comes down to. And it's like, 
I see it. I work in a warehouse, bro. This shit is annoying. I see a little kid. I see the blue hair. I see the short hair. I see the buzz cuts. And I'd say like eight out of ten. Yeah. <laughs> this is dead ass what's going on. You got woke kids. They're fucking sensitive. Half of the time, they're on some kind of prescription pill. And because they're depressed, they blame it on whatever they are. I, because I identify as something that uh, I just made up this week. Oh, uh, my gosh. And it just, it's too much. It is just fucking ridiculous. We, we joked about this in 10 years that, man, kids are going to be so sensitive. Now they're going to get triggered. They're going to need trigger warnings. We do got trigger warnings now, bro. I mean, sometimes I'll be watching some videos and they're like, caution, trigger warning, this might be offensive. And it's Andrew Tate just saying, women cannot drive. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I was expecting for guts or something to come out or some, you know, I don't know. <laughs> but not that. And if they don't get their way, they simply walk out. So yeah, they got the most smallest little sensitive as hard if they can't deal with work they just leave and i'm seeing this in my warehouse job i can tell you right now you get all these young fucking sensitive ass kids first off they're weaker now so they're not used to actual labor work uh god forbid it's too heavy <laughs> they complain that oh I, I i already did this yesterday why do i have to do it again and it's like Cause you're working you gotta grind and then you grind home for what you're passionate about nah they get mad and they just fucking leave <laughs> and after this they probably get like 10 more jobs after that the good thing is there's work everywhere now because nobody wants to work <laughs> the problem is god damn bro these motherfuckers just leave i mean i'll give you kudos if you if you're passionate and you want to do your own thing that's fucking dope. That's how some people become successful. But I see motherfuckers that want to leave and then they go home. They don't do shit. They don't even at least play. You know, they probably waste their time playing video games all the fucking day. But they at least, you know, work on a Twitch stream or, or, or something that they can kind of develop. But they don't. They just stay home and fucking bitch. And I'm just like, damn. Also... They say 37% of Gen Zers say they're already rejected jobs or assignments based on personal ethics. And more than one third say they would quit a job without another lined up. <laughs> Just like I said, they don't got any balls to fucking work. You can't, they just want to stand there. They want to do the least possible. Also, another thing that ended up happening is that after we hit COVID, the whole 2020 thing, man, a lot of people stayed home. And some people had their jobs at home. And now they realize, man, I low-key kind of prefer that. And if you have a job like that, that's fucking dope. But if you're like a barista or a warehouse worker like me, bro, you got to go in there and do the fucking work. But, dude, people are... Are crazy like they bro no work ethic the sensibility the entitlement is ridiculous now they also said netflix is leading the way in the wake of dave Chappelle's stand-up comedy controversy last october the streaming giant refused to cancel the comedian show following accusations of transphobia now about the job things i don't know there's news cast they just go straight to about dave Chappelle, but it's like, okay, I'll give you this, bro. Man, I saw the signs when, 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 like, comedians... Once comedians started getting picked on because they make jokes of certain things that you cannot say, that's the sign when you realize, holy crap, we are too damn sensitive. I, bro, it's like dealing with adult babies now. I, I, it is a freaking trip. <laughs> You wonder why males are so depressed now? You wonder why women so picky to men? It is like, bro, both sides are failing. This ain't even a women versus men thing. This is just like, human beings in general, they, suck. they don't take care of themselves anymore. Uh, everything we have fed is fucking GMO trash crap. 
So everyone gets overweight. They get fucking depressed. They, they got no will to fucking work. They're comfortable in their hot AC house. And they just want to stay like that. And, it, and who you got to blame? I don't know. This is the shitty situation. And lastly, they say, perhaps most crucially, it's also time for generations to grow up. Of course, workplace conflicts is inevitable, but it should be solved meaningfully and constructively, not by whining to HR or staging a walkout. That's not say that the vegetarian should take a gig at a slaughterhouse, but any mature adult should know how to park their personal politics at the office door. Yes. Bro, have you ever been on somebody that you know, like, oh, this motherfucker's coming up. Shit. You know he's gonna be talking about fucking Donald Trump or or fucking Biden or whatever, some shit. And you're like, hey, man, what's up? Did you hear? Did you hear? Gasoline is fucking high. It's all goddamn. It's all those Republicans. God damn it. <laughs> and it's like... Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. And then, and then you can't say anything, and you're just like, wait, isn't presidency right now Biden? Isn't that them? Like, oh, 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 you're one of those writers. You're crazy. Oh. <laughs> it's just, yeah, honestly, you should leave politics to the fucking back when it comes to work, man. If you got your boys that you're into shit like that, then yeah. But like, oh, man, at work, yeah, it, it'll be turning people off. I, I try my best not to get into shit like that at work because, yeah, it's a big, like, turnoff. You you want to just get your shit done and go back home and hopefully work on something you're passionate about. That That's the thing. That's very important. Like me. We'll see where it goes. <laughs> so, yeah. What do you guys think, huh? Are you guys... Are you a Gen Z? Do you believe you're fucking lazy as fuck? Or are you not a Gen Z and you're like, yeah, these motherfuckers lazy as fuck. I don't know. Let me know. Like and subscribe. Comment on my video. Let me know what you think. And that is all. Peace.